I'm in the inner sanctum of the England team hotel down here in Bagshot, where we're going to talk first of all about injuries. Alex Corbiziero, England's first choice loose head prop, has been struggling with a knee injury. Stuart Lancaster has very kindly joined us. And Stuart, um, Alex did so well for the Lions in, the, in Sydney and other matches as well for them. What's the latest on that knee? Yeah, no, he's making good progress. Uh, he's unlikely to make the Australia game, unfortunately. He hasn't got back to on-field running yet. So uh, uh, we're hopeful uh, another week's recovery and rehab um, is going to be uh, up and running for the Argentina game. But uh, two that one, big blow. Yeah, big blow, but two very good loose heads in, mm. in Maka Vunapola and Joe Marla. Joe Marla, the pick of our forwards in Argentina, and Maka's been outstanding this season, so it's a strong position for us. Now tell us about what you've learnt from that Lions tour. I mean, I, I guess your principal left head and uh, Andy Fowler and Graham Roundtree, of course, on that tour, they, they spent the whole summer planning the demise of, of Australia. What have they brought back from that tour? What have you learnt from them? Yeah, no, they, they did bring back, obviously, an insight into the, um, the individuals that, mm. that played at the time. Um, I think we've got to recognise it's a different coaching mm. team, it's a different environment. You know, they've brought in... Hugh McKenzie, who clearly the players are playing for now. Um, when I saw the, the game in Argentina and uh, uh, the recent game against the All Blacks, you know, the Australians are back to the best and uh, a force to be reckoned with now. And what did you learn uh, about that defeat this time last year against them? Because a lot of people thought England were going to edge that game and they were ambushed, really. Yeah, no, we were disappointed to lose that game. You know, we, we didn't quite um, take our opportunities when we created them. We played a lot of rugby, um, but a couple of poor exits cost us. Uh, and it's still fresh in my mind. You know, we've mm. got to make sure, international level, you get all the component pieces of your game right. Whether it's your exiting from your own half, your set piece, your line out, um, or you take your opportunities when they're there. And uh, uh, on the day, Australia won and deserved to win. Um, so there's plenty to play for. And what about competition for shirts now? I mean, there are some key areas there where you must be really spoilt for choice. I mean, I'm thinking hooker, second row, back row as well. There's some good areas there with plenty of competition for shirts. Absolutely. And, um, you know, we've, we've got all players in camp now. And we're training this afternoon. We've got two training sessions tomorrow, units in the morning, uh, defence-based session in the afternoon. So by the close of play Tuesday night, we'll be pretty clear on where we're going. But... Uh, should be a competitive day and a half. And a quick word about those players you released to play for their clubs this weekend. Some very strong performances from a number of players. Just what you want to see, Stuart. Absolutely. And I think, you know, for us to be successful long term, it's about building a squad, not just a team. Um, we want to put a team out that wins uh, on Saturday, but uh, that depth is going to be important to us in a World Cup. And uh, um, to see the players of, uh, like Luther Burrell and mm. Dave Atwood and Ben Foden going back and playing well was, was great, really.